click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have did the column chromatography, we have studied about the thin layer chromatography and now in this topic basically we are going to talk about the paper chromatography. So what is paper chromatography, what is the principle behind and the technique behind the paper chromatography, let us talk about this in this lecture. So before understanding the technique behind the paper chromatography, let us understand the principle behind the paper chromatography and that is as follows. So the paper chromatography is a type of partition chromatography which is based on the principle that is due to continuous differential partitioning of components of a mixture between a stationary phase and a mobile phase. So this is somewhere different uh, compared to that of the column chromatography. So the technique as well as the principle behind this is somewhere different from compared to that of the column chromatography. So let, let us So this was the principle behind the paper chromatography and now let us understand the technique behind the paper chromatography. So for that I have a diagram that could be represented to explain the technique of the paper chromatography and that is as follows. So the procedure is very simple that is we have to take a special kind of paper and that paper is nothing but it is known as chromatography paper. So it is somewhere it is similar to that of the thin layer chromatography that we have done in our previous lecture. So this is the paper chromatography that we have taken over here and in this case basically the water is basically trapped in it. So the water that has been present in this chromatography paper is basically it is acting like a stationary phase and that has been suspended in such a way that uh, the same jar that we have taken in the thin layer chromatography, the similarly we have to take the same jar and uh, that consists of a specific amount of a solvent or that is also known as eluent. And we have to spot the organic uh, mixture on the baseline as it has been mentioned over here. And due to capillary action obviously we know that uh, obviously the solvent will rise uh, through this paper as well as not only the solvent but also we could find that uh, is the organic spot that we have mentioned over here or that we have spotted over here even that will be raised and after rising we could find that is uh, it could be separated also so therefore we could find that is two or three spots means uh, how much amount of uh, the component that have been present in the organic mixture that would be spotted at every point over here and depending on which organic amount we are talking about and depending upon the particular organic compound, we can find a different spots on this paper. So this is how we can differentiate, that is, we can separate the organic components that are present in the mixture. So this is how we can also separate it as well as we can also analyze that which organic compound is being present in that mixture. So this is what it is similarly that is what we have did in the thin layer chromatography and that is it this is what I want to discuss about. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope you share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.